Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another vlog. It is too early to be standing up right now. Oh, that's so much better. <laughs> Ooh, I love this new little camera. Oh, oh. Ubisoft has invited myself and so many other creators out to have a hands-on demo with Star Wars Outlaws. And I'm just about to go downstairs and meet everyone in the lobby, so I'm gonna keep this super short. We have a jam-packed couple days. I'm so excited because there are people here that I already know and I'm good friends with, and there are others that I am meeting in person for the first time. Time check. Mmm. We are still very much ahead of schedule. Freaking time zones. Right now, it's literally the butt crack of dawn, but I would already be up and starting my day. Speaking of butt crack of dawn, I think I need another cup of coffee. You guys have no idea what we're in for this week. I really don't even have an idea yet, but there's some really exciting stuff coming up that you guys will get to see, and I wanna zip it right now. We're not gonna talk about it, we'll just wait. I'm hungry. <laughs> we this close to getting hangry. If you wanna be fancy, hold your pinky up like this. Cheers, guys. Make sure to drink your water. <laughs> Put your SPF 70 on. It's gonna be a hot one. All right, guys, let's go. Where did her head go? So I will be her head now. <laughs> We're all losing our head at some point. <laughs> I, I, I don't even have words for today. I really don't. What is going on with this thing? It's not okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> okay. You saw a little bit of the crazy eyes there. Pardon me. The heck is my hair doing? I'm sorry. You you guys are not a mirror. I apologize. Today was a great day. Today was a great, 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 great day. I just learned this today, actually, and maybe you guys knew this, and if you did, good for you. But I just learned today that. Star Wars Outlaws is set between Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. Y'all, that is my favorite time period for Star Wars. What got into me today? Oh my god, we got to use the speeders finally, which loved it. Loved it. Was terrible at driving it, and for me that's part of the fun. I was driving along and all of a sudden I got this thing over the radio saying that there was a crashed Empire ship and that I should go check it out, and I did. And there was, in fact, a crashed Empire ship with 
people trying to steal stuff from it. So I just entered the battle and I took everybody out and I, gosh darn it, I became a pirate. Everywhere you look, every direction, there's a question mark that you can go explore. Best part was the fact that there are arcade games throughout some of the cities. I just, I saw one, I went right for it. And there was like two or three right next to each other. Y'all, we only have like, we have a limited amount of time when we go to these things, right? And we're trying to capture specific quests and things that we have to do, right? Like a lot of us come here with a purpose and some people come here like it's their job, right? And they treat it like a job where I just, I walked into this random like arcade thing and I just sat there and played a game within a game the whole time. And I'm like taking up my entire allotted time just playing these random, really fun, really well thought out arcade games. My least favorite thing was stealth. Obviously, this is a surprise to absolutely no one who has ever spent more than two minutes on my channel. But again, teach their own. That's a me thing. I go in guns blazing and that's the way I like it. But <laughs> I find stealth boring, right? But it's probably the most efficient way to do it. Not the quickest always but it's definitely the most efficient, but I find it boring. So I'm just gonna, I'm still just gonna go in guns blasting, pew, 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 pew. I'm talking really, really fast. I apologize. I hope you guys are keeping up, okay? I also have to keep this really quick because I'm about to go have dinner. What time is it? Dinner with Queen freaking Tofu, which by the way, if you're watching this, I love you. You're one of the most genuine people I've ever met. I absolutely love you. I, it's been such a blessing to spend all freaking day with you, having heart to hearts, talking about everything, the good, the bad, the ugly with content creation and burnout. And you know, I just felt like I was seen. YouTube has been a literal blessing in my life and I'm so grateful for it every day. There were so many people at this event that came up to me and they're like, you're the Miranda Lorian, right? Like so many people, guys, were like, I love your Batman videos. I loved your Batman content. If I died today, I would die a very, very happy person. Easily one of the best days. Maybe not the best hair day, but that's fine. <sighs> it is what it is, you know? I also look like a teacher slash librarian in this, like what the heck? I don't even care. I don't even care. <laughs> it's a vibe. Speaking of tofu, I have to go meet with her now. Okay, I don't wanna keep her waiting. You can't keep the queen waiting. I love you guys so much. I'll see you very soon. Hello, hi, hi. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, rise and shine. It's time to go. I'm running very, very, very late right now because I'm me and why not? Oh my God, I need to calm down. Trying to put my socks on, it's not going very well. Why am I rushing, you ask? Um, because you and I, we're going to Disneyland. I'm going to Disneyland for the first time. We are doing a VIP tour. Sorry, my brain is short, short circuited. I don't know how I've made it this far, to be honest. I am literally running on fumes. You and I, we're going on a VIP tour through Star Wars Land. We're gonna meet with people called Imagineers, which are the people that were responsible for building all of the rides in Star Wars Land, I'm so excited. All right, I need to go, let's go. You look so cute. <laughs> Star Wars today. We got Connor from Detroit Become Human. Hello! <laughs> I'm so excited. Buzzing. I'm buzzing. I'm buzzing. <laughs> oh wait, get in here. Okay, I fixed my hair. Oh, it's all good. Oh, we're group one. Oh, we're group one. Oh, group one. Group one. I got my bum bag. My fanny pack. Too small. I'm tall. <laughs> Are you going to interview right now? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Thank you. 
our tour guide just said that Disneyland turns 69 next week. <laughs> There's a joke in there somewhere. The Mirandalorian has officially landed in Star Wars World. <laughs> You're kidding me! You're kidding me! Oh my god! <laughs> Guys, I found my twin. Is there a bounty on you? No. My group maybe, but not me. Are you a wanted fugitive? <laughs> Lucky for you, I've got my hands full. Or I'd have you in stun cuff. Be cool, guys. Be cool. Also, we just rode Rise of the Resistance and Smuggler's Run. It is crazy. You guys need to come here if you can. Awesome. I have SPF 70. Thank Not you. Thank you, Hunter. You do it. Hunter cares. One life lesson, kids. <laughs> Wear your sunscreen. Face too. Remember that. And floss. Remember that. Oh, and, floss. Awesome. and floss. And floss. <laughs> Hide the contraband. Ha! Good luck. Of resisting supporters here. I love my overlord. <laughs> Do you know if the resistance is here? No. Not at all. They totally I didn't go to the bathroom. With your sources, trooper. Oh no. That's not what they said before. You acted on nothing more than their word. Yes, sir. Think about that. Understood. Trooper. We are sorry, sir. I the First it. Order will crush the resistance. Join the strong. Do not not a good idea. Foolish. <laughs> That's enough. We apologize, sir. Enough. Sir. This way, please. Apologies, sir. Choose your fate. Join us. <laughs> our day just got worse. Just doing our job. That's a no. Here we go. <laughs> yes, sir. I'm sorry, sir. We're sorry, sir. We apologize, sir. <laughs> <laughs> we just got a whole show. That was awesome. <laughs> Oh, Kylo Ren's the best. <laughs> Whoa! You can do this. Hot! Oh, 
we just rode Space Mountain, my favorite. <laughs> Miranda, look at me. Hunter, I guess you can look too. Who, me? Yeah. It's all around. Cut the footage. Miranda, if you're watching this in the future. No, no, put, put your hand over the camera. Be like, cut the camera's cut dead the camera. ass. Yeah. Hey everyone, it is currently 2.15 a.m. We are officially done with the entire Ubisoft Star Wars Outlaws demo week. I probably should wait until tomorrow to record this, but I wanted to give you the true authentic experience as it's happening. And I'm sorry if you can hear like buzzing in the background. The AC is really loud. No, I think that's the white noise machine, one second. Anyway, I don't even know where to start. We woke up bright and early, we got on the bus, we went to Disneyland. You know, going into this, I didn't really know what to expect from a VIP tour. I just thought we were gonna like ride a couple rides and get, you know, the fast passes. But other than that, I didn't really know what to expect. It was above and beyond my expectations, like once in a lifetime thing. We're talking about here. God, I look like a hot freaking mess. I hope you don't mind, but you know, I don't care. <laughs> we were all sorted into smaller groups of like seven or eight people. And then we would have someone from Ubisoft there with us as like our contact. And then we had someone who actually worked for the parks leading us around and telling us all these fun facts and taking us on all the rides and, you know, explaining to us like, everything the budget the history the work that was put into it like everything anything you could ever think to ask they would have the answer i mean these people were i think they're called imagineers oh shout out to philander one of the most incredible humans i've ever met i've never seen somebody so in love with their job and so passionate about what they do it was remarkable we kind of made the whole thing into a joke we were all saying how we felt like we were on a high school field trip slash summer camp and our ubisoft contact was like our camp counselor it was so funny but one of the coolest things okay so there was this couple and their names are gabby and tyler i hope i can find a picture and post it we took a bunch of selfies they're absolutely absolutely the sweetest people as well and uh, they're my favorite TikTok couple. I actually found them through a viral Twitter video. It was their TikTok video but then it bled over into Twitter which is how I found them and I saw them the day before at the actual Ubisoft event and I remember seeing them and I was like I know them I, I don't know I think they're the TikTok couple that like, they had this incredible chemistry and everyone was like, they should end up together, they're so cute. And they were in our Disney group, I kid you not. They got stopped by so many people in the park. Speaking of being recognized, shout out to all the people that came up to me at the Ubisoft event and said hi, like it was the most heartwarming thing. And 
I will never get used to that. It's like one of the best feelings ever. So thank you for making my whole weekend. It's just such a cool feeling whenever I realize that my videos are actually reaching human beings and people are watching them and they enjoy them so much. Like so many people were telling me how they loved my Batman playthrough. <laughs> and it's just so weird sometimes to just know that you're being perceived. Anyway, back to my favorite TikTok couple. It was so adorable to see all of these people come up to them and want photos. I've never, I've never seen that in real life. Like I've never been with people that are known publicly like that and beloved by so many people for something that's like so wholesome and positive for the entire internet community as a whole. And it was funny because I kind of turned it into a game. I kept count. I lost track after a while, but I think they got stopped 20 times. But I can't really emphasize enough how cool it was to watch that happen and to be able to live vicariously through them as they're getting stopped by all these people. I was just so excited for them. Like, I'm gonna cry. I'm I'm just so happy for both of them and I just, I wish them nothing but the best. Am I getting emotional or am I just really, really tired? Probably both. What was my favorite ride, you ask? Oh, easy. <laughs> Rise of the Resistance. But there's a part in that ride, so cool, so mind-blowing. You walk out of these elevators and you just see this whole, like, Empire room, Empire starship room, like the docking bay. I think that's what you would call them, the docking bay for all the ships. And you just see this whole room full of stormtroopers. I saw that for the first time and I just, I, it was so overwhelming and it was so emotional as a Star Wars fan. Our tour conductor said something like, the budget for that whole ride was like 500 million dollars. Yeah, I mean, it made sense. <laughs> when you experience the whole ride, you're like, yeah, this had to have had a massive budget. It was so amazing with the animatronics and Kylo Ren and how fluid their movement. I wish, like, I wish I could have recorded it, but I wanted to be in the moment and like, I don't know if we were allowed to record it, but I wish I could have shown you guys what I saw. It was so cool. If you ever get the chance to go to Star Wars land in either Disney World or Disneyland, I cannot recommend it enough. I don't even know if anything I'm saying is making sense. <laughs> I'm getting- I'm- we're approaching delirious level again. Besides the fact that it's so expensive, Disneyland really is the happiest place on earth. I genuinely feel like I am walking away from this experience feeling like I have just made some of the best friends that I've ever had in my life. People that I genuinely connect with, people that have identical interests as myself, being able to pick everybody's brain and ask questions and not be afraid to ask questions. And I don't normally stay up this late, but I feel like I stayed up this late because I didn't want this day to end. I'm so sad to go home tomorrow. Child me would not believe that I'm here today. And even though I almost didn't record this tonight, I'm really happy that I did. I'm really glad that I sat down and talked about this. I was afraid that I was going to leave something out, and I probably did, but there was just so much stuff that I wanted to talk about. And first off, I just want to thank everyone who's watching this, but most importantly, like, this absolutely, this vlog that you guys are watching, this is for my future self. Like, 75-year-old me, 75 your old Miranda, if you're watching this. I want you to know that this was the best week ever. This was one of the best things you could ever do for yourself. Thank you for stepping outside of your comfort zone. And again, to every single person that came up and said hi to me. <laughs> I'm never gonna forget it. Shout out to every single person that I met, hung out with, had deep, philosophical conversations with this week. The internet is great. It's such a great tool that we all have access to. It has brought so many amazing friends into my life, but there is nothing quite like meeting these people in person for the first time. Alrighty guys, I think I have now officially talked myself to death. 
I don't even know how I still have a voice. Like, I'm gonna wake up tomorrow and my voice is going to be gone. But, <laughs> can't believe I almost forgot the highlight. The Mandalorian came face to face with the Mandalorian. The only thing I didn't get was a hug and I'm pretty pissed about it. I think that is officially it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I'm so proud of it. This was again such a fun week that I will never forget. I have been nothing but all smiles. I just hope I don't sleep through my flight tomorrow. All right, peace out fellow Mirandalorians. I love you guys so, so, so much. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time.